hello everybody welcome back to into the tuesdays thank you guys so so much for being here um the support that you guys give me um this first one is going to be for the fire signs okay so welcome in fire signs um i was channeling for you guys um I was channeling for you guys and I was feeling, I'm hearing closure right now, but I was feeling like someone is, like there's this path that you guys are not taking or not trusting or maybe not trusting someone, okay? But um, I feel as though you guys may be trying to walk away from someone or wanting to come towards someone, wanting to um, definitely reconcile with the person. This could be a water sign or, an, or earth sign. All right, so spirit, what message do you have from the gift of the fire sign? In love, currently. What's this energy for the fire signs in love? Current energy. Current energy in love. Wow, so the king of wands, okay. So you're someone who... Why is that called a hut? Listen, the King of Wands is here. This is your energy. Standing tall. Um, I'm hearing I have everything I need. I just need you. All right. But I'm feeling like some of you guys don't know how to come towards someone. Um, while well, the Eight of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Um, or either you're like in the player type of energy or your person is. Where there's like some committal issues. Maybe it's a living issue going on here. What's going on here? Okay. The Ten of Cups in reverse. Okay. So there's definitely some family issues going on here. If this is a marriage or um, if this is not a marriage, just a relationship, just take um, take what resonates. Okay. This is a general reading. Um, there's an imbalance here with family or either just uh, your person of interest. Okay. The emperor, yeah, there's a there's some structure issues with your person. Um, this could be Aries or Scorpio that you're dealing with, or either they're I'm hearing not fit. Maybe they feel like you're not fit, or um, they're not fit for like this relationship or this marriage, or my dog is snoring, y'all. Oh my god. It's really right under me. But the world card is here. What's the world spirit for the fire signs in love? The two of pentacles. Wow. Okay, so you guys could be juggling maybe more than one person here. Um, but this one person here is like this it person. Or maybe you guys... Um, okay, yeah, the six of swords. So maybe you guys are... If this is having to do with, okay, someone's like kind of arrogant here. Like I'm hearing like I'm the whole package. You guys need to slow down. That drives away someone. Also, the Six of Swords is here. Okay. Six of Swords. So there could have been plans being made to um, move together, move, live in together, um, visit each other, but it did not work out. Um, this could be with an air sign. Or a water sign. Um, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of chemistry here. There's I'm sorry, y'all. I'm actually working with one of my clients as I'm doing this. I'm, I'm doing a multitasking baby. I always be busy. Um, give me one second, you guys. Um. Oh my god, my brain is doing like 10 different things at once. Just trying to channel still. Trying to get this up. Whew. I need a margarita. Um. Thank you. I'm gonna take that back. Um. Someone has pumped the brakes on someone here. Whether it's you or someone is like telling someone like the truth about something. Maybe someone is still with another person and that's why things aren't working out. That's why... Someone's in this player energy. Okay, what's this King of Wands? What's the King of Wands? Thank you. 
Yeah, what did I say? Hermit mold. And then the two of swords. So someone could have recently, either it's you or them, but this is not your energy. Um, I'm seeing that it's air sign that you're dealing with. Or this water sign that you're dealing with. They, they, you, this could be a cancer as well. Um, they're they're crying. Number one, their emotions are really in this, okay? They, they're trying to really figure you out. Figure out what they want to do regarding um, this situation. Especially if this is a marriage. Um, and especially if kids are involved. But if that does not resonate for you guys, just don't take that. This Again, this is a general reading. Um, there's some heavy anxiety here. So this person has recently um, broke away from this connection. Or either this is you, your energy with this hermit here, um, for introspection. Okay? To make their mind up. Um, there's a change that's needing to happen here. For this King of Wands, we have the tower here in reverse. Okay? This is being said that this has already happened. I feel like this is something that's repeating, maybe like a cycle. Maybe like a cycle. I literally, I have to listen to everything when I do these readings. I have to listen to my mind. Everything has to be open when I do these readings because I get messages. Okay. Um, with the tower here, someone has. Something was built off of a very faulty ground here with um, a significant other, friend, lover, um, family member, whatever the case may be. Someone's had a breakthrough or either a tower moment um, right now, or either there's just a lot of chaos in the home um, and somebody, maybe you or your person wants to come in and help and save you, um, Captain Save <clears throat> Um, so the Eight of Pentacles is here uh, in reverse. What's that? We're waiting on a decision. What's this? Thank you. The Death card. Leave. And and someone's being really sneaky about this ending. Um, or leaving a situation or a, a location or something. I feel like someone is really being sneaky right now. Whether it's you or your person. Someone's just really... Um, someone's really... What is it? Hazel? Hazel. Someone's just really like discontent here. I look unfulfilled. I'm not happy. The Three of Cups is here. They're, they're, um, there's a lot of talking behind someone's back here, okay? So justice is here. You're definitely dealing with the Libra or just the air sign in general. There's a need for balance here. Um, they, they really need you to come through for them or you need someone to come through for you. Okay. The Empress in reverse, yeah. So this is definitely saying that right now there's no sun being shined on this connection simply because of what has transpired. Hush, Millie. Hush. What's transpired, okay? What's the Empress? Secrets are being held, though. But it's like someone needs to have a heart-to-heart -heart or someone needs to just sit down and talk to someone about how they truly feel in order to get out these secrets. Wow. Yeah. The sun, the world, the Emperor. That's what the blockage is. Listen, y'all need to shine some light. Maybe talk to this person or your person needs to talk to you. Hush, my meal. Thank you. The Six of Cups in reverse. This person, though, is running off. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so if you're a cross watcher watching for a fire sign that you're dealing with, this person is definitely a past person. You're definitely either a water sign or air sign, and you're watching for them. My cross watchers, you're either a Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, you may feel like this person that you're dealing with, that is this fire sign, um, this is not good. Like, I'm seeing a lot of combative energy here with this five of wands. Um, you're really running off of this emotional attachment. Yeah, the Seven of Swords. 
there's stuff there's some deceit going on here it's stuff being done behind your back that you don't know about and it's not really good to put yourself in this situation um especially if you're trying to heal with the five of cups here especially if you're trying to heal okay you're gonna end up regretting something the hanged woman is here wow yeah stuck you're gonna be stuck so this time what is the hanged woman spirit The hang woman. The high priestess. Their secrets. Okay. So really use your intuition here to look at something from a different perspective. Um, before you make any sudden changes, any movements. Okay. And that, that, that's the message from my cross watchers. So for fire signs. And if that, that resonated for you, fire signs, then great. Um. The Knight of Cups is here. Because there's an unsure love offer here. Princess of Swords. Yeah, this is an unsure love offer. Really much. Uh oh, sorry. Um, let me pick this card up. There is an unsure love offer happening. Someone's unsure about um coming into union. So don't um just be careful. Move slowly into things don't brush anything okay fire signs all right all right let's get a heart card for you guys and we'll close this out Millie's jealous today because i have hazel <laughs> out with me while i'm doing my readings and not him he's usually laying on the sofa but today my hey he gets to be out with me. You guys don't know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about my dogs. Okay. Okay, spirit. My message for the heart. For the fire. My message for fire signs for the heart. Yeah. Choose your battles was in the up. Okay, so choose choose who you want to deal with, how you want to deal with it, how you want to go about it um, in matters of love and, and also work. I'm feeling some of you guys can maybe be associating with someone at work. So just choose your battles, okay? All right, moving on to my water signs. Okay, water signs, hello. This is your reading, your Intuitive Tuesday reading. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, everyone's staying safe during the quarantine. No one's getting um, sucked away. <laughs> literally, literally, this is all I have left from <laughs> my big stick of sage. Water signs, please, spirit. Ouch, please, spirit. You guys keep getting knocked back, or you guys keep going back um, to a certain person. Either um, there's a memory here that you guys keep replaying in your head. This is for very few of you guys. Um, and it has you stuck on someone. Let's see what's going on here for water signs and love spirit. What's this overall energy? The seven of cups. Mm. There's a lot of temptation. Five of wands. Ooh, okay. So there's a lot of um, sexual energy here. Well, yeah, nine of cups. There's a lot of sexual energy. And you keep beating yourself up because you're letting this person back in. And it's still not changing. No matter how good the sex is or how good intimacy is with this person, you let them back in and then they don't they don't change. The higher point is here. It's time for you to do some introspection. Water signs. It's time to decide who you want in your life, you know, which direction you want to go, okay? Otherwise, you're going to keep manipulating yourself 
here. I'm also seeing that you guys could have been cutting out um, a fire sign if you're dealing with one. Oh my sweet Jesus. Oh my God. If you're dealing with a fire sign. Um, there's maybe some back and forth here. Either a fire sign or an, um, an air an air sign. There's a lot of back and forth here with this person. Really watch what you say. Watch your words around this person because sometimes words can be hurtful. Um, let's see. What's going on for these water signs in love? Spirit. I'm hearing Aretha Franklin, Aretha Franklin, um, I'm caught up in a rapture, or I'm caught up in a rapture of love, you know. So you're trying to have self-control right now also, patience as well with this person or just with the situation as a whole whatever you're dealing with um there's there's a lot of watering going on here in matters of your abundance um don't water yourself down for someone who can't even uh <laughs> fill up your cup hello um Something about distance is here as well with the chariot here. Um, what's the seven of pentacles? Okay. Why are all my cards going to fall to the floor? Mm. Okay. The seven of pentacles, we have the hanging woman. In reverse. So I'm really feeling like you guys are making a decision and then going back on it making it and then going back on it um what's the chariot spirit You guys want to you guys want to travel somewhere or you're trying to dodge someone or either someone is dodging you. Also, um there's a need for you guys just to pump your brakes. Um you're thinking too much into things and so this is really um stirring up a lot of your emotions here with this Queen of Cups. It's really throwing you off. Um and this is where this imbalance is coming after. You guys need to just sit still. What's going on here with the water signs and the in love with their person how's your person feeling yeah this person's gonna come to you definitely a fire sign okay this person's gonna come to you give it time two of wands is here but um there's mutual feelings here but yeah they for some for very few of you guys they need to end a, a cycle with someone or either this is you that's needing to no, yeah, some of you guys need to just pump your brakes with this person that you're dealing with. Um, because they need to end something with someone else. There's like this road that they need to travel. This is a cycle that they're going through, karma that they're having to deal through and um, go through. And um, you don't want that energy. Yeah, the emperor. This is the Aries Leo Sag. Someone rising. Or Scorpio because right now they're halfway there you see what I'm saying like they, they can only meet you halfway for 
Yeah, th this person can only meet you halfway. Yeah, the three of pentacles. Yeah, this is third party with that three of pentacles. This is three of pentacles. Spirit for water signs and love. The ace of wands. You guys, they, okay, listen, they can't work with you right now. Like, they can't. This is not going to come together just yet. I'm saying give it time because I feel feeling like someone's in the way here. And the more that you throw yourself at them or the more that you, not even throw yourself at them, the more that you try to put yourself out there towards them, the more you're going to be hurting. So I would just say, yeah, give it time. Keep this as friendship. Um, go out um do something you know that's safe you know that's that's open whatever's opening you guys the cities you know that you can do do it for fun especially if you're in Atlanta there's some open stuff you know just be safe um because right now this person is really not clear about what they they want well let me not say that they know that you would be a perfect candidate but Whoever this toxic person is that they're dealing with right now. No, ma'am. No, sir. Okay? So, I'm hearing just save it for later. And if you don't want to stay and, you know, wait, then it is what it is. Wow, it's so funny. Open the deck. We have balance and then your solar plexus. You guys do need to balance out your emotions, um, your your feelings, um, um, with your self-worth. Water signs and love. Just one card, please. What do they need to do regarding their love? Okay. Stop self-sabotaging. Um, what do the water signs need to do regarding love? Yeah, I know you want to come up. Right? Need to nurture yourself. Give your love back to yourself. A lot of you guys are coming out of feeling like very hopeless about love or helpless. Feeling like you don't know which direction to go. Like, I see the light at the end of the tunnel, but it's still so far. You know, um, spirit is trying to slow you down. Intentionally. To take a look at the bigger picture is what I'm hearing. Thank you. Okay, yeah, and a lot of you guys have an imbalanced sacral chakra okay that's about intimacy um sex creativity you know um listen it's just it's time to slow this down because love is coming in manifest it um get a gratitude journal and manifest okay One more. Yeah. You guys are going to be coming out of the sadness and isolation. But you're just, your heart's in it. So you're refusing to see that there is, um, that the grass is green on the other side. Let me say it like that. Okay. So water signs. Take things slow. Nurture yourself at this time. And, um. yeah and just let this sit okay don't put too much effort into anything right now let this person come to you because they will they like you but it's just they're dealing with other things right now okay and you don't want a half a halfway person um a half lover You definitely don't want that. Okay, so moving on. To my earth signs. Hmm. 
Okay, so Earth Signs, this is going to be your Intuitive Tuesday reading. Thank you so much for coming and um, showing your support. Keep in mind, this is a general reading, so everything will not resonate, but only take what will, okay? Only take what does. Okay. You guys going to have fun. What's going on here for these earth signs in love currently? You guys are putting on a mask for someone right now. You're not really showing someone who you fully are. Earth signs in love. What's going on here for them? I'm really having this vision of like you going to like the stove and checking to see if like a cake is ready yet. And I'm saying that to imply it to um was this a good job? Was this a good act in matters of love? You don't have to front with someone. This is definitely a water sign. Your emotions are really high about a water sign right now. Um you want to give your love to a water sign. But you want to make sure that this person is ready. You're scared to open up because you've been hurt in the past. Um, what's going on here in love for the earth signs? Mm -hmm. What's this nice one? You feel like you're not good enough for this person. And it's, it's making you feel, it's probably making you want to be detached. Or you feel like you want this person to be the one. What's this for? For the earth signs in love. This is, a, wow, the moon. What's the fool for our signs in love? There's a, lot of, there's a lot of waiting right now surrounding a water sign. Or either this water sign is waiting on you. But there is some deception here. I can pull it out one second. What's the deception here with the moon? Because the two of swords is here. Some, someone... <laughs> You might have either earth signs, either you or someone that you're dealing with has portrayed to be something that they're not. Or um basically just fronting for no reason here. Um Okay. This is why the ones. Okay, so you guys listen. Some of you guys are good together when you guys are together, but then when you guys are apart, it's like horrible. There could be some trust issues going on here. Um. <coughs> okay, I'm going to say it. Just give me one second. <coughs> I didn't want to say this, but... Oh my God, spirit just choked me. Okay, listen, someone may feel like they have someone under wraps, like wrapped around their finger. Okay, but what's going on here with the two of cups? The king of swords. You you could have had to um, break something off for our signs or either not break it off, but just tell someone like a little bit of the truth, like not really trying to mislead someone, but hey, this is what this is. You see what I'm saying? What's going on here? The sun. Can I pull again? Okay. Let me check on this. The sun. There has been a reconciliation here. Whether it's with you or um, 
your person and someone has stepped out on the relationship um and there's some conflict possibly here um you're definitely dealing with a water sign or air sign and then someone like a fire sign someone rising or you could be dealing with the fire sign i don't see your energy though what's the earth signs energy in love right now Hostile. Someone's like a little hostile too. The Ten of Wands. I feel like your sun, I feel like your moon or your rising are coming out. Um, there is a lot of heavy burdens right now, or you're carrying a lot of weight, or um, this person is hiding something from you and is eating them alive. Or they hate to like have to lie about someone is in another relationship as well. Thank you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. So this water sign right now is a little there there's a love offering here from this water sign of Pisces or Cancer. But they're a little unsure. They're a little unsure because, like, okay, if you're dealing with the water sign, it's like when you guys are together, the connection is great, union is great, you know, um, you feel this energy and it's strong, it's powerful. You guys could have had a past life together, but um, it's, it's like it, you, you get out what you put in with this situation, you know, um... Also, I'm seeing you earth signs have a lot already on you. And it's kind of like adding maybe a relationship for those who are starting something new with someone with the full card here. It might be just a little too much right now. This person, though. This person is like very, if you're dealing with the, if you're a male watching for your person, this person is like very feminine. You know, um, they love to keep themselves up. Um, and if you're a female dealing with the male you know they're very masculine like they have some feminine in them or they're maybe a little um they may be like a little um they have a lot of facial hair okay but this person this queen this queen of wands she's sitting here and she's she your person is feeling thank you your person is feeling in their power they feel certain about you but i'm seeing like you guys are trying to remove your energy or either this is them trying to move their energy okay so here you go and so the clarity is here with the ace of swords <sighs> justice realization about something regarding this situation this connection whatever the case may be um with the Nine of Pentacles, I'm feeling like someone who doesn't want to be in something and feel trapped or have to be cautious about something. This is Nine of Pentacles. The High Priestess, yeah, so there's some secrets here. Okay, thank you for telling me. What are we waiting on? Oh. Work. So you guys could, like, um, do business together or work together, and there has to be, like, a secret. With the Eight of Swords, trusting. What's the Eight of Swords here? This could be like a third party situation with like other people. The Ten of Pentacles. <sighs> this relationship has to be kept quiet for some reason. The Queen of Swords. Yeah. We're reserved. We're here in reserve. Because... There's like a disapproval for you guys, whatever the case may be. You could already be in a situation where someone's flirting with you at work. The Ten of Swords. Yeah. But something something was put to rest because like something was ended here. The Seven of Pentacles. So what are we deciding? What are you deciding? The Four of Pentacles.
you can't let go of this person or someone's like emotionally blocking someone or someone's not um someone's more focused on money right now capricorn energy four swords here so yeah you're trying to just take a break from this person especially if this is having to do with work justice yeah and if you're dealing with a libra yeah and with the eight of cups you just have to either this water sign or this air sign and be moving on i'm gonna be leaving taking a different route sooner than later or you may feel like this like they are um you don't want to really lose this person but you, i feel like you have to be honest with this person regarding a certain situation um before it got out of hand the queen of pentacles and the knight of pentacles but you're looking at the oh oh you're looking at this person and you're just like oh my god like you're like you're so freaking beautiful you're so abundant you know you have it all but i just have to be really strategic about this you know um however the case i may be but so this is this connection is moving very slow <clears throat> you guys need to release um both of you guys need to release a lot of old energy, old feelings from past um, relationships with people. What's going on here in love for the air signs? Yeah. What do they need to do with this connection? Move on. This is a lot, but something is telling me to take this now. So, we have nurture, love, belief, succeed, joy, stability, helpless, hopeless, darkest fears. Oh my gosh, so this person kind of, you guys met at the right time because it's almost like this person brought light back to your life. Embrace, clarity, belief, and throat chakra, sacral chakra, love of balance, and dreams coming true. This person is helping you move closer to what you want to do regarding your soul mission or what do you what you want to do in matters of work okay but your darkest fear is being alone being rejected um not having anyone whether you know it or not subconsciously so you need to nurture yourself love yourself in the process of showing some love to this person but don't give all of yourself um there is here is a throat chakra like i said earlier and i coughed don't base something all on sex. Make sure you guys can actually hold a conversation. I don't know why I just said that. But um make sure that you guys have a clear understanding of what you guys want out of this relationship or um uh, friendship, whatever this union is. Make sure and or signs that's just what anyone don't mislead someone to thinking something that it's not, you know. Um, everyone thinks differently. Everyone has a different life. Different brain, different body, different life, different way, different physical, different way of doing things. So make sure there's a clear understanding, okay? Not a semi-clear, a clear understanding of things. All right, moving on to my air signs. Thank you so much, air signs. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all, excuse me. Hazel, one second, you guys. You're sleeping okay girl a little dead okay um all right hi air signs this is your intuitive tuesday reading thank you guys so much for tuning in um i hope everyone is being safe um uh, during the quarantine um doing some uh, doing some um healing some meditation if you have the time um keep in mind that this is this will be a general reading so you know things 
will resonate, may not resonate for you. The general reading, so I'm reading for every sign. Reading for whoever's watching this, okay? Only take what resonates, though. And if this doesn't resonate, you can book a personal. My personals are free. It'll be much easier for me to channel with you guys, okay? And go more in detail, okay? Okay, so spirit, come talk to me. Finances could be a little struggle for you guys right now, of course, with COVID going on. But I feel like this was happening before. Here's some sage, so you guys go and sage your house, okay? Um... I'm hearing P's and Q's. You feel like you have to be on your P's and Q's around somebody. Or someone has to be on their P's and Q's around you, okay? Let's see what's going on in love. Spirit, what is going on in love for the air signs currently? Ooh. Okay. Air signs in love. What's this overall energy for them in love? What's going on with them? You guys are holding on to a lot of memories with either a water sign or a fire sign. A past person has also came back for some of you guys. Um, Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. You guys are also just holding on to these memories. You feel like this is the way with this person? Or you're holding on to a connection with this fire sign or water sign because there's hope. You feel like there's hope. You feel like um, this person is it. And they rightfully so can be, but they they have some things they need to work out here. With the Nine of Cups, this is like, this This is it. This is union. This is a wish fulfillment. Um, there's a little bit of shying away from um, a certain situation here. Hope is restored here. What did I just say? Hope is restored balance six of pentacles the death spot okay i'm seeing i'm hearing change someone wants to change for you guys well someone wants to change i'm hearing mass now so this could be a mask that they're putting on for right now um i'm hearing that this could just go back to how it used to be but let's let's keep going okay what's the devil here You guys are fearing staying in something and still getting hurt in the process. Okay. Um, there's a lot of emotion in this connection with this water energy, with this Queen of Cups. My ears are ringing. There's, there's a lot of emotions here. Frustration. I'm getting frustrated. Um, there's... Um, Someone has recently, like, kind of went numb or went silent on someone. What's going on here for the air signs and love? Um, there's a lot of stress. There's a lot of anxiety. Maybe a lack of sleep going on here. Um, you guys need to seriously pray. Because this is bigger than you. Okay? Um, with the seven of pentacles here. Thank you. Okay, so you guys... Um, you guys may want to come towards this person, but you're unsure about this love offering. Or it's like halfway. You're halfway sure. Millie? You okay in there, buddy? <laughs> He's so jealous. He's such an attention whore. He wants to just be out because Hazel's out, my other dog. Okay, so what's the Seven of Pentacles? We are watering something, making, hoping something grows, okay? But they're unsure, or either you're just unsure about even giving this life, giving attention towards this person. Here, it's like, do you really want to keep going through this? With the Three of Wands, there's been a lot of waiting. There's been a lot of confusion. There's been a lot of frustration with this person. A lot of ups and downs with this person. Um, ooh, so smooth. So smooth. I love these cards. There's just been a lot. It's like, it's hard to keep the ball rolling with this person. Like, things will get good and then, 
mm, flat line. You see what I'm saying? What's going on here in love with this person? Or it's just like keeping people external sources out of the shit that y'all have. Thank you. <clears throat> there needs to be some reciprocation going on here. That's where you guys are getting stuck at. Okay. Um, with judgment here, with death and devil, it fell over death and the devil cord. With judgment here, I'm feeling like you guys um, are definitely marrying each other. Um, there's a lot of past um, energy of some childhood stuff that you guys need to really work on um, in order to make this connection work. Like your root chakra or how are you with trusting people? Do you trust your parents? Um, you know, that sort of stuff. Otherwise, you're going to stay stuck. Um, you're going to have this one focus on this one thing and you're not going to look at the bigger picture. Okay. Um, and it's going to be a lot of stress. With the Princess of Cups here, I'm hearing naive. So naive. You guys are so young. You're, you, this, you're wanting to stay in this because it's familiar to you. You've gotten used to being around this person. This person's like your everything. You wanted this to be your Jay-Z and Beyonce. But honey, this is like a Bobby, Bobby Whitney situation for some. And you have to get out of this. There's a lot of manipulation really going on here it's a mess for some especially with the devil here what's going on here in love for the air signs thank you i'm gonna close that with these yeah this could also be third there's a gemini here who's distracting someone there's also third party um and if this is not it this is another air sign, just in general. Um, and there's... Someone has their nose in something. This could be family. This could be... Um, like, it's like four people against one person. Or it's like there's a pathway that you need to take regarding this, but you really... You don't know which way to go. Okay. And it's okay. It's time to do some introspection with this hermit here. Some self-love. You need to meditate. You need to really figure out what you want for yourself. If you have a child involved, figure out what is the best route for you and your child. Don't let anyone else in your business because what you do is for you in your life. Remember that you're with yourself all of your life. This is it. This is you. Hey, honey. Honey, you need to wake up. Hey, you're having a bad dream. Hey, girly. Hi. Hazel, it's okay. Mama, wake up. It's so easy to wake dogs up. I'm so sorry, you guys. My dog's having a bad dream. You need to really figure out who you want in your life. Make the adjustment. Make the adjustment because otherwise you're going to be stuck in this energy, in this cycle, and it's going to keep repeating until you get it right. These planets are in retrograde right now. This is the reason for it. You've been here before with this fire sign or this water or earth sign. You've been here before. You know what to do. You, you, you are actually more equipped for this. You see what I'm saying? So whatever you do and you keep repeating that same cycle, you're manipulating yourself. Okay. You've been here before. Do you have scars? You guys need to work on that throat chakra. Voice your opinion. Speak it up. Heart to heart. Chop it up, please. The Empress. Their secrets coming out. There is what someone's holding. What's the Empress? The Queen of Swords. The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> boxed in. Someone doesn't want to feel boxed in. This is the secret. Someone doesn't want to... Wow, and it feels like a surprise. Someone doesn't want to feel boxed in. Okay, so it's like... It's, it's like this person. It's like a two-way mirror, right? Okay, and this person, does, you don't know this person is watching you, but they are. Um, and they're going to try to find every way to to get you down to their level. You don't want to be there. And this is for a few. This is moving slowly. This person is missing. They, they lack guidance. They lack the structure of how either a male or female should be inside of a relationship or marriage and 
um, they need to really, um, that's what I'm saying with this childhood stuff, with that root, they need to go back and um, do some assessing, okay, for themselves. Okay. Yeah. So, wow. And then feel alone and then simply love. So, don't hold on to someone because you feel alone. Okay. Don't keep someone in your corner because you just want an emotional fulfillment. Okay. It's not how it works because you're only hurting yourself in the end. Because if it wasn't filling you up before, it's not going to fill you up now. Okay. Let's keep going. What's what? Yeah. Wow, did y'all I hope y'all saw how they jumped out. Seek the truth here. Seek the truth here. Um, take the lead. Stop crying. Stop crying. A lot of you guys have been crying or just your heart's heavy. I feel it. Oh my oh my god. I've been saying this the whole reading. Your root chakra. Hello. Okay, listen. What else? What else, spirit? For Aquarius, is, thank you. Yeah, strengthen and bonds, control. Reach out, darkest fears. So again, you're you're fearing reaching out to this person or coming into union again with this person because of someone being too controlling, maybe a little oppressive. Um, but you only put yourself in that because you choose to. So when you decide to choose a different way, uh, route and way about going with things, you'll start seeing <sighs> different outcomes, okay? All right. Air signs. That is your Intuitive Tuesday reading. I hope this helped. If you want to go a little more in depth, and if this didn't resonate at all, book it personal um, so I can go more in depth with you guys and get spot on answers and um, connections with spirit. Personal readings are free at this moment until Friday, so make sure you get one, okay? Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and thank you so much for the support, and I will see you guys next Tuesday. Bye.